But look at this. Oh, you're okay, 20 so feet off your damn altitude there. and you're not even looking at it, oh, right? It's not lying. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Final Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, I'm gonna show you the second instrument flight lesson that I had with Joe. Uh, the first instrument flight for me is always kind of a real world point to point filed in the system flight, wherever possible using autopilot too, honestly, because that's a chance for the student's brain to kind of see what the end result is supposed to look like. But on day two, we go straight to the gym. We roll up our sleeves and we start working on some basic attitude instrument flying. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of that work. One of the most important things to me at this phase of teaching instrument flying is to remind students that there's really not a whole lot different about instrument flying as compared to visual flying. The bottom line is you fly pitch plus power and that will equal some performance. So check out this demo here where I show Joe how powerful the attitude ind indicator can be if you learn how to aim small on that instrument. Let me know when you think your attitude indicator is uh, perfectly representing pitch level. So you're not turning, you're not descending. Okay. And aim, remember to aim small on that unit, right? Okay, so that... That looks level, but I'm climbing. Interesting, yeah, well, so it's, it's always pitch and power. And wait for that thing to stabilize. Well, I'm actually not really. I'm right just trim it so it stays up here. Okay, that's yeah, holding. So, what do I mean by aim small? It's a pretty simple concept. Like, if I gave you a rifle and I told you to shoot at that hanger, um, hanger door rather, you might miss the hanger door. But if I tell you to shoot at the fire extinguisher on the side of the hanger door, you might miss the fire extinguisher, but you'll probably hit the door, right? So, you'll hear me talk to Joe about aiming small on this kind of ridiculous instrument that takes your entire windscreen and compresses it into a little two-inch circle. Now let's get rid of everything except your attitude indicator. I mean, yeah, that's it. So that's all you're going to have. I want you to aim, aim small on that guy. Okay. Don't let anything change. I will give you $10 million if nothing changes on there. Okay, so all right. So you see, like, when you see the white line behind it, you see like hairs width. So that's how small you're aiming. Okay. Let's do a turn. Even let's go turn left and just don't let that ball move. The relative picture. Perfect. That oop, the ball's going down. Don't let it go oh, down. It see that? That's how small I want you to fly that thing. Right? It's going down. You Went pitch down, down for yeah. sure. So pull it back up. There you go. Yeah. That's better. Like that. Now, sometimes people tell me they have a hard time holding altitude under instruments. It's because they're not using this picture properly. Your ball's dropping a little bit there. Bring it back oh, up. Yeah, it's yeah, a little bit wide. <laughs> That's how small, dude. <laughs> wow. That's okay. how, but look at this. Oh, you're okay. 20 so, feet off your damn altitude, right. and you're not even looking at oh, it, right? It's not lying. Yeah. So that's <laughs> what I want to show you is now. that, like, this is a function of sight picture the same way that this is a function of sight picture when you're flying VFR. There's no real difference. It's just right, your, so if I see this. Drop yeah, down. exactly. Your whole window, unfortunately, just got shrunk into this tiny BS little two and a half inch screen, right? Also, you'll see me talk about the inverted V scan. This is a really powerful scan pattern for rolling into and out of turns. It cross checks three systems the electric, the vacuum, and the static, and will also allow time for the attitude indicator to self write after prolonged turns at a standard rate. So you go to the turn coordinator, attitude indicator, VSI, and then back to a radial scan. And this would be like an inverted V right here, that scan pattern. And as soon as we parallel the coast, I'll tell you to roll out here and then. Uh, I do the inverted V one more time because this thing takes time after a long turn like this to self write. Uh -huh. Basically, it'll have some error. This will not. So watch this when you come out of this turn here. Uh, let's roll out on north. 
Okay, you roll out of north. Go turn coordinator first. Stop turn. Okay, stop That's it. Turn. Stop turn. You're turning to the right a little bit. There you go. Good. Now look at your attitude. Oh, the SI. Now back to a radial scan. Okay. All right. And you know how important the law of primacy is too. So while you're doing these exercises, just have your student enter climbs, level off, enter descents, level off. And for each one of those climbs, level offs, descents, and level offs, there should be a flow check followed by a checklist, okay? Just try to develop that fundamental habit. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. A huge thanks to Joe for letting me publish his flight training to the internet. Um, if you wanna follow along from day one all the way through his instrument rating, come to patreon.com slash learn TFP for that, uh, for all of those videos. Um, also, I've got a free video I'd love to give you if you come to learnthefinerpoints.com. You can find me on Instagram at learnthefinerpoints. Uh, huge thanks to the sponsors and to the patrons and to you, the best fans on the internet, for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.